back with some ancient dungeon. This uh, almost went horribly wrong last time we played this with uh, me knocking shit over. Uh, matter of fact, actually, before I start recording this, uh, let me go put some items uh, in safer places. Now, the chance of me breaking something will be not zero, because again, something is going to break here sooner or later, it's just going to happen. Uh, but it's at least less likely, and if I break something, it'll be something less significant. We're back on easy mode. Last time we didn't do all that well compared to the time before, but I do have good hope that today will maybe finally be the day that we make it. If you can give me a key, that would be, of course you can't. Let's see what you want, Mr. Devil Deal. Press trigger on both controllers to sacrifice one health. I'll do that, and you'll give me one key for that. It's not even a hard container, it's just one damage. I'll take more of that, please, yes. And then you give me an item. Blunt knocker bone. Your melee strikes have a small chance to increase your number of coins. That is really good. Can I just keep giving you health? Because frankly, I will do that. I can keep... That's amazing. Significantly increases all the characteristics, uh, but acquiring further upgrade items will damage you. I think this is where we stop taking these uh, these deals. Because there's nothing in this. Because that doesn't seem to be a good item to pick up early on in your game. I do need to start focusing on healing myself though, because I did use up quite a bit of HP there. Uh, that being said, I did get that key with the specific reason that we have a locked chest over there, so that might have a healing item in it. That would be fine, it doesn't. Threat feeds with temporarily increase your movement speed. It's also a very bad item. Consumable, whatever. I feel like the, the corridors are a lot more narrow than they usually are in, in this run. I don't know why that is. Probably just because the game's like got an update, maybe? Maybe there's more rooms added now, and these are very narrow rooms. I must say, I do actually quite like the more narrow look to a lot of these rooms. Don't step on those spikes, that will hurt a lot. What are you? When you are hit, you summon a wisp. Uh, I do tend to get hit quite a lot because I am, as we have established, a bad at life. But I'm good at hitting zombies, so at least there's that. Because I can just stand back and, and just throw my knife at them. And sometimes, I, a lot of the times I miss, admittedly. But uh, zombies, at least on this floor, aren't that big a deal. Now, zombies on the next floor are going to be a much bigger deal. I really do need this to be a shop with health items in them. It is a shop. And it's even got a steak for me. So I will immediately eat that and have some health back. Eight coins. Um, your projectile strikes can cause an explosion. What the fuck? Can we please make it so that uh, enemies can't enter shops? That would be kind of good. Uh, and then we have the penny whistle. When you uh, complete an area, you gain 20 coins. That seems really nice as well. I can't afford either of these. I would prefer this one, but that's 46 coins. That ain't happening. Maybe if we can get a lot of chests with a lot of coins in them. I can gather that money, but I very much doubt it. Yeah, still at 17. I mean, you guys can, I think, see my amount of coins. That's the boss door. Uh, on the screen, I still have to look at my hand every single time I want to check. Uh, for obvious reasons, because I am in a reality that is virtual. Uh, also known as VR. Yeah, I think we've uh, just about seen the entire dungeon. And I don't think we're getting enough money. Like, not even close. Maybe you will drop like 30 coins somehow. Probably not, right? No, probably. No, you didn't. But there's a chest over there, so this could have like five coins or, or a key. Honestly, I'll take a key. Usually keys end up being a pretty scarce resource as well. Okay, I got hit, so at least I have a wisp going into the boss fight. I, I feel pretty good about this boss fight. I'm getting better and better at this first floor. Again, admittedly, I am on easy mode, which does make things... Boss fight, here I am. Please don't be slime lord. I fucking hate the slime. You know what? I like this boss fight. This boss fight doesn't require me to move around a lot, which in my play area is generally a, a good thing. Because I can just do that, hit you, uh, try... That's the only downside to that boss, is he does that attack, which is more or less undodgeable. <laughs> 
I, I guess the way to dodge that is just B for another way. And even then, I, I don't think... Is there a pattern to it that I'm just not seeing because I'm seeing it in first person? That has to be it, right? There has to be a pattern to it that I'm just not picking up on. But I, I got hit like two or three times there. That's actually not great. I know this item. Uh, moderately increase your weapon damage, but decrease your maximum health. You know what? I'll fucking take it. Uh, let's take care of the fire slimes before we do anything else, because these were like... Okay, and the thing I... Hold on, do I sense a secret room? These golden pots, they have to contain lots of money, right? Well, if we come across another shop, at least that's good, because these, uh, these contain like... Five, six, ten, ten coins a piece, something like that. More fire slimes, that's actually just straight up not a problem anymore. And please be a shop. You are not a shop yet, but... This is literally the item we just picked up. Well, it's probably a stupid idea to uh, play with my max health like that, but I'm going to. And that's the item we couldn't afford in the shop before, which gives us even more coins when we uh, finish an area. Let's go the other direction first. You look like a Mimic. That's because you are a Mimic. Slightly increase your range damage. I am at least getting my damage up real high at this point, which that's a good thing. I have... I was going to say no health left, but I still have the amount of health left that you start with on standard mode, so I probably shouldn't complain too much. And we've got a chest back here as well, so let's go check that out. That was, I think, another key. And there's nothing back here either. Okay, so let's uh, keep going in the way that we were going at before. I can destroy all these tables and all these chairs. I don't think the tables or chairs can really drop money. Uh, the, the pots and things like that, definitely. But I don't think... The crates also. Tables and chairs. I don't think so. And that's where we jump down into... What's this? Throw at your feet to temporarily become invincible. That's a lot better than... You can just go fuck off. I don't need you anymore. Uh, you, however, I will take. I keep getting hit by the things that explode that hang on the walls and I'm never going to get used to them. I just want you to know it's probably what's going to end up killing me because I... Well, the thing that actually ended up killing me is probably the fact that I just gave away some of my HP. In my defense, they were empty heart containers and I have not had the opportunity to heal them back up yet as of right now. Remember when I talked about uh, the easy zombies? Yeah, th these are actually not that difficult. I used to have a lot of trouble with these zombies, but uh, not anymore, really. Open this chest. And more keys. I've got more keys and I know what to do with at this point. Remember when we played this game and we never got enough keys? Then remember when we found out there's an easy mode? Yeah, that, that's... Coincidentally, pretty much the same run where those two things changed. Wonder if they're related at all. I do feel like I am getting better at the game though, uh, because as I said, these zombies used to be a huge ass problem for me, and even these fire slimes used to be way more of a problem than they are right now. And I can kind of like just deal with them at this Fuck, I... <laughs> Forget everything I just said. That zombie just killed himself. <laughs> I guess I will gladly take that. I will also very much like to kill those worms from a distance. Thank you. More worms, more zombies, and more worms. And probably more bats somewhere around here as well, right? Exploding bats? No exploding bats? I was expecting some exploding bats, to be honest. I'm kind of disappointed. I also do not have an active item yet, I just realized. So... Maybe we can start hoping for that, even though I'm really, really bad at using active items. Like in the normal roguelike, you can see, that's the boss door, uh, you can see whether or not your active item is ready for use. Uh, in, in this game, it's, it's a little bit more difficult because you have to actually like look at your right hand and you have to remind yourself to do that every so often. Fully is something that is totally, I thought you died. Fuck off. Which, yes, that is totally something that's on me, and I should do more often when I have an active item. Uh, but there's a lot of things that I'm juggling here, and having to deal with, and I'm gonna die on this boss fight. Unless it's a very easy boss fight, which it might be. Okay, I think I've done this boss fight no damage before, so... 
I still don't know. Sometimes I damage this dude for a lot of HP, and then sometimes I... Okay. Um, and then sometimes I don't, and I still haven't figured out why. See, that's just 9 HP damage. That's not a lot. But sometimes I do like 30 or 50 or something like that. Oh, I I hit my ceiling. Oh, no. I'm getting tangled up in my cord. That's... Oh, fuck. And this is why you need, number one, wireless VR. And number two, a bigger VR space to play a fucking game like this. But I will manage. I will manage. If you're wondering why I... Or how in the world I managed to hit the ceiling, by the way... It's because uh, the new place has a slanted ceiling uh, for like most of the surface uh, of the ceiling. So th there's a lot of opportunities for me if I just stick my hand out straight to just bump into the slanted ceiling. And that's not great if you can't see what you're doing. I swear to God, I will finish you. I, I will perfect this other than the, the one time that I already got hit. But let's ignore that for my sake. I really feel like I'm still missing something very, very vital in this boss fight. At least he's dead. Still feel like I'm missing something vital in the boss fight, but he's dead and we're back to the third floor. So the projectile strikes have a small chance to massively do deal more damage. I will take that because I'm very much relying on those strikes. I also would very much like some HP or a shop. I haven't seen a shop in a while. I've got... A oh, no. Um... I've got 107 HP. Don't follow me. Oh no, you fuckers as well. I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like you at all. Okay, let's take a moment here to recenter myself, uh, both mentally and physically within the room, uh, because otherwise I will absolutely lose my shit. You are a mimic. I figured you were a little too dark, but you give me an item, so deflect any projectiles now do more damage oh that's really good because i'm very bad at reflecting them to begin with so and i don't have a lot of margin of error there at all i'd rather just walk up to something and kill it honestly <sighs> again i need a shop i'm not gonna bother with any of these enemies around here oh no 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 you know what? These guys suddenly actually don't seem that bad. Okay, I died. I guess that was a pretty short run so far, so we uh, we should probably add in a second one for uh, for this video. This is still locked. I really want the, the crossbow. I think that'll really, really end up helping me uh, in the long run, but I probably need to... Oh, I just realized. Even if I beat it on easy mode, it's probably not going to unlock the crossbow, is it? Well, back where we uh, st always start in the uh, overgrown, normal, slime-filled dungeon, which doesn't start with any keys, so lock chests are kind of just a slap in the face. I swear to God, if this is a shop, I'm going to lose my shit. Okay, it's not a shop. Once charge used to emit a line of damaging spikes. You know what? Actually, I think I enjoy that. I stepped... I have more locked things. Can you please just give me a key if you're gonna lock everything away behind, well, locks. There's two chests here back to back without locks and one of them has a key. The other one has coins. So now I have to choose because I've found everything on this level uh, so far and I've only gotten one key. So do I go into this room or into that other chest? And the answer is definitely this room because rooms... There's a locked chest in a locked room. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, at least there is a... Uh, I can actually get a key out of that. There's, there's a couple of chests in here as well, which I will take to Potato. And I will take whatever you have inside, which is temporarily increased damage. I think I like that. Uh, might as well take this, I suppose, to open this as well. And then you are throw at the feet of an increased crit chance. Your movement speed is lowered. I will press the wrong button first and foremost. Take that as well, I guess. And then see how long the pickaxe takes for recharge because I used it by accident. I was saving that for the boss. I still might be able to use it on the boss, admittedly. Because if I can use that on the boss, that's going to save me getting hit quite a bit, I think. And that's easy. I almost got hit by you. 
but you're also very easy. Like, if you just approach these flowers on a diagonal, they can't fucking hit you. And here we have the shop, which I don't have any money for anymore. So, um, thanks, but what is that? I still don't feel like I am, uh, capable of defeating you. But one day, you are gonna fucking eat it, my friend. It's one of those runs, isn't it? Where everything requires keys and the game just refuses to give them to me. You're a fast boy, aren't you? You actually hit me. I actually saw a texture change in the wall and figured let's hit it, and now I got a potentially good item. Projectile deal continue with damage while I'm better than you. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Especially for bosses. That is fantastic. More keys required. You have to be kidding me, right? This has to be a joke. At least I found the boss room, so I guess we might as well just go into that, because this floor fucking hates me. First things first, whatever you do, just yeet this into the boss. And this will deal continuous damage. And I just stand back and enjoy. Go in, deal one hit, get the fuck back. Uh, actually, let's use this as well. It's still impossible to... Uh, to predict that pattern, I think. At, at least as far as I can tell, it's impossible to predict, but I seem like I managed well enough. That was a not too difficult boss fight. I like this upgrade. One charge used to summon an aggressive wisp. Um, I'll take it, because that means I don't have to actually aim the attack that I get out of my active, which is very, very good indeed. Because I suck at aiming. I'm sure it deals less damage than the thing that I just traded it in for. Uh, don't get me wrong, because it just makes sense that something with a higher skill requirement is more profitable as far as like your damage output goes, but you know what deals less damage than, um, than that even? It's fucking missing with your attack. So I'd rather be sure that I hit for a little less damage than have a very good chance of missing my hit and just dealing no damage at all. I really love the knife, like, bleed damage. It's really, really good. <laughs> I just missed that thing at point-blank range, like, three times in a row. I uh, I have a key to open this, and there's, like, three or two chests and two other things. I heard something. Are you in a shop? Because I, uh, I actually have some money right now, so I, I wouldn't mind a what the fuck. I wouldn't mind a shop, is what I was gonna say. Or just a free item. I heard you, but you still hit me, so... Who's laughing now? Decrease your weapon damage, but uh, defeating enemy will greatly increase your weapon damage to the original values. Why the fuck would I want that? Past the original values. Oh yeah, no, definitely I'll take that. Potato. I like potato. I like steak more, but potato will do. Potato is better than nothing, at least. Like, okay, so... These easy enemies will start increasing my... Let's, let's summon the Aggressive Wisp. They will start increasing my damage again. And now for every single thing I kill, I will start outputting more and more damage. Which just seemed like a really good deal. Because I am on easy mode. And my damage already is higher than it was previous, I think. So that's actually really overpowered. That probably should be nerfed at least a little bit. But not until I finish this run, because uh, I like dealing this much damage. Oh, hello there. You want to die? I'll happily oblige. And we have a shop. I have 37 coins. You are worth weak link. Slightly increase your evasion. That's um, de decent, I guess. But lightning, your projectile slowly increases in size and damage, but reset after each strike. That does not synergize with my other thing, does it? Uh, this I will take immediately, however, and I guess I'll take that as well. Key for coins, how about no? I've got one key that I'm going to use over there, though, because there's no reason... Ooh, this seems good. When you complete an area, you gain two keys. That seems highly useful. Did I just hear a cat? Oh my god, there's a bat. Sounds similar enough. And it's a zombie. Which again, are uh, absolutely no problem whatsoever anymore. 
There we go. And this chest holds. Oh yeah, I have two things in my wrist slots as well. Oh yeah, and I've got that thing as well. Throw a, uh, to summon a few wisps to help you. I guess I can just immediately throw that on the ground and just have a few wisps because the two things that I'm holding right now are more useful long term, I think. I've seen this item before, I'm pretty sure. When you are hit, time slows down for a brief period. That can be a bit of a double-edged sword, because it's not your enemy slow down, but you as well. Uh, but at least it gives you a little bit more time to react uh, when you're panicking because you're getting hit. So, there is that. And we're uh, at the next boss fight. So, let's think this one is the one that increases my damage. So, let's throw that one down. And immediately stick you with that, because... Having residual damage on you seems just ridiculously powerful. Uh, but that being said, <laughs> I also don't think I can really hit you all too well with my melee attack. Oh, actually, I don't seem to be doing too badly with that. And I can hit you real quick. Two, three times. There we go. Okay, I I'm getting a little bit more ballsy, which actually ends up with me getting hit less somehow. Once charge used to deal a small amount of damage to... Ah, fuck, I probably should have used this, shouldn't I? As I said, I'm very bad at using my active abilities and... That's probably never gonna change, I'm gonna be real with you. I just wanna stick you with my knife. Because if I can land it in you, then I can just run the fuck away and you will eventually die. There we go. And that's exactly according to plan. Okay, you did hit me. Again, I want to just stick you with my knife. There we go. Okay. Uh, you just kamikaze on me. That's actually kind of fine. You should die soon. There we go. And now it's your turn to die. I don't think these books have very much HP, to be honest. Oh, that one might. It died very quickly. I've got three keys. Oh, yeah. The item gives me keys when I complete it. Oh, yeah. These, these rooms are a little tricky, but I'm going to do it anyway because they can give good rewards as well. I just don't know that the, yeah, the uh, Mystic or whatever this Flores version of it would necessarily be worth it, but so far, it's actually not too bad because I'm learning to deal with the pink slimes. Sacrifice your health to gain twice the amount of protection. Oh, I can't heal anymore, but I have a shit ton of health. And I wasn't really running into any food items anyway, so I guess this is actually pretty good. Though I am going to be more careful rather than less careful as a result of this, because if I now run into any food items, I will not be able to use them. When you're of low health, your weapon damage is significantly increased. So does that always remain active? Because I technically don't have any health right now. Because it should. Uh, we can take care of you, and okay, do this in the proper order. Do this in the proper order. Outside laps, outside laps, outside laps. I don't know why I tried to hit that candle. Uh, it just kind of annoyed me. And you are not that scary anymore to me. You did hit me, though. Uh, uh, there's, there's more of you. Okay, I uh, remember when I said I was going to be more careful with my health? Yeah, those were good times, weren't they? Nothing much going on back here, so let's turn around and there still is a very good chance that we end up killing the boss fight here and at least making it to a new floor. I would like to make it to the end of the game, but I think there's like one more floor. Oh, this doesn't seem good. Actually, this doesn't seem too bad. <laughs> this actually is really easy. And that was, I think, a secret... No, not a secret room. Just looked like one. And still have a shit ton of protection left, so... It's really not that big a deal. Again, there's no possibility for me to heal anymore, but I wasn't really running into any healing-based items anyway. There is something up there that I probably want to take a look at. Oh, no, that's just an enemy. That's just an enemy. I thought it was an item. It is not. Oh, would you look at who has healing items now? Well, I don't really need that, do I? Um, you can go fuck yourself. Your projectile uh, causes explosions. I don't know how this synergizes with sticking to enemies. Um, hello. <laughs> um, I didn't know you could come down here. 
Maybe you can go attack him for me. How about that? Maybe you guys can fight each other because you are a bitch. You are even more of a bitch. And I really don't want to accidentally hit him while I'm fighting you. So I'm just going to get the fuck out of here and uh, I'm never going to look back at you ever again. Can I just close this door on you? No, I cannot. Okay, I'll just keep walking. Oh, there's another one of them right over there. That's fantastic, isn't it? I'm just going to keep walking because I, at this point, just want to fight the boss of this floor and move the fuck on with my life. Hello there! And request granted, I guess, because that's the boss. Um, but just after picking up that item, I probably should deal some damage to some easy enemies uh, first, but I'm not gonna. And I also should probably have figured out the whole synergy between explosions and, and like, bleeding damage, but... Okay, at least it's the same boss as before. Does he teleport after every hit? He teleports after every hit, so the bleeding damage really doesn't do much. Okay. I, I need to murder you. I need to murder you. I need to murder you before you murder me. Okay, at least I survived the pink slimes this time around. Wait. When you teleport, you keep the knife inside you? Do you? You do. Okay, so you should still have... These are not a problem. These I can deal with. You know what, actually? Hold on. I have to, I have to have aggressive wisp and I also have this thing. I don't remember what it does. Book. This is one stressful ass fight. And this is not even like the final fight of the game. Like there's, there's at least one more floor. I think even potentially two more floors after this. Do you get your residual damage? You do. Okay, so just keep the knife stuck in him and we should be more or less fine. Attack, 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 attack. No, I cannot attack you. Okay, that's two of them. Okay, that is actually super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Now, you keep getting damaged by my knife. And you died. Okay, we, we made it. Next floor it is. Uh, we've already seen that. I don't want that item because I am so good at using the items that I have. Next floor, Luminous Mines. Which I think is the second to last level in the game with Minecraft mine tracks in them. We're probably going to die relatively quickly here because all of these enemies are, are entirely unfamiliar to me. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to rush my way through this because if we can do that, uh, we definitely cannot do that because holy shit, this is fuck off. <laughs> There's a lot of enemies around. There is a lot of enemies around here. This is holy crap. There's a secret room back here as well. That's, uh, I don't know what this is. Um, once charged, used to produce a random orb. You know what? I don't really care about that. The fuck is going on here? Holy hell. The difficulty, like, doesn't really scale up slowly, does it? It's like, oh, you, you just... What the fuck are you? It just figures, oh, you beat the, uh, the little book, dude. Now go to hell, literally. Uh, I hear things, but I don't see things. Oh, there we go. We have... I'm going to call those stone slimes because they look like stone and slimes. What is this item? Your melee strikes occasionally cause damage after a short delay. Additional damage. Okay, I was going to say, if it causes damage after a short delay, that seems really bad. But additional damage. So it's kind of like a uh, sometimes double hit. Funnily enough, these guys seem very scary. They're actually... Okay, no, never mind. They are still bitches. And they can go fuck themselves. I am about to die, but... Hey, I made it pretty far, all things considered. I'm going to try and survive for as long as possible, obviously. But uh, I don't think I'm going to survive more than, like, two more rooms. <laughs> because things are coming at me from literally every direction, and it's kind of chaotic. And I'm still mostly too afraid to swing very wildly around myself because I'm going to break something in my room and I don't want that. 
one and a half hearts. Maybe we can at least fight uh, or, or find. <laughs> we, we can't really fight, uh, but find the boss fight so I can see what it's like. Assuming there's only one boss fight on this floor. But I think, again, this should be, especially considering the difficulty here, uh, this might be the last floor of the game, in which case I have to assume that the boss fight is a, a static one, right? It's always going to be the same one. I somehow, I was going to say, I somehow managed to not get hit through all of that, and then something hit me. Well, that was quite the adventure, wasn't it? I'm going to uh, not go back into that dungeon for the time being, and you guys are going to like this video for all my pain and suffering.